The very first thing you need to do when you start using an Alexa Show device, which in front of you and on my screen is an Alexa Show 5. And the first thing you need to do is plug it in and set it up. So I'm gonna walk you through the basic steps of turning on and setting up your Alexa Show device. So here we go. The first thing you want to do is select your language. I hope my fingers don't get all in the way, but I'm going to hit that and I'm going to hit continue. Hello. Ready for setup. Now it's going to search the, uh, define an internet connection uh, in the house that I'm in so that it can get connected to the internet. Now I'm hoping that I can do this pretty easily. I'm going to connect to the cafe patio and it wants to know the password. Okay, now I click connect. Now it's connecting to my internet. Now the next thing you need to do once the device is connected to the internet is you need to connect it to your Amazon account. Now hopefully, if you have an Alexa device, you also have an Amazon account. But if you don't, you can create a new Amazon account by going on your computer or your cell phone, go to amazon.com and create an Amazon account. I have one, so let me put that in. Give me a second to get that set up. Now, if I did that right, let's hit done. Sign into my Amazon account. Now, it sent a text message to that email address associated with that Amazon account. Let me see what that was. I'll send it to my cell phone. Oops, I had to go get it off my cell phone. Give me a second. So it sent a text message to my cell phone number associated with that account. And I got the text message. I got the code. I entered it. And now I'm ready to go. It's now registered to my to Teddy Burris, my Amazon account. And I agree and I continue. Now, ideally, if you really want to do this properly, you'll go read the Alexa terms of services or terms of use and um, and make sure you understand them. By the way, I have done that and you can do that through your web browser. Um, go to amazon.com and look for the Alexa terms of use. I read it, I agree, and I'm ready to continue. The first thing first, Alexa is designed to protect your privacy. You can always learn more at amazon.com Alexa privacy. Again, I recommend you read that. I have read that. Now, it wants to change my time zone or confirm it. It says I'm in North America and I'm Eastern Daylight Time Zone. That's right, continue. It wants to know my address. Now, my address is associated with my Amazon account. So again, if you're using Amazon, it's gonna know your address, so there's no magic, nothing secretive here. Hit continue. So I want you to name this device. You can give this device a name so you can play music on the device, you can call the device, you can drop in on the device from other Alexa devices or the Alexa app. So I'm gonna call this one TLB Family Room. Continue. Now it's gonna update the OS if the device needs to have an update to the operating system. Wait for that to happen. 
Which room is your Echo Show in? To keep this device organized, place your Echo Show 5 in a group. Now I can put this in a group. Now I've created a group on my Alexa account because I have other Alexa devices. So I can put it in a group if I want or not. I'm not going to put it in a group. I'm going to skip that. Put it in, leave it by itself. Now I can choose clock and photo display. I can pull it from my photos. If I have photos on there, I don't have, so if I have any photos. I can use the wild earth or seasonal or nature or travel or art. You know what? I'm going to use nature as my uh, clock and photo display background. Hit continue. Now I can pull my appointments, reminders, um, set up the profiles for you and each of your family members. Lex will keep track of all of it. I can do that or I can say do it later. Now there are some things that I may not want to do with my Alexa device, but again, you wanna understand what you can. So I'm gonna do this later. Now the setup is giving me the option to allow other members of my house home to live stream this Echo Show camera anytime they want from either their, their device or from their Alexa app. This is useful if you want to use your Echo Show as a camera in the room so that you can see what's going on or others can see what's going on in this room. It's, it's a potentially useful security feature that may be worthy of doing. Uh, and so I'm going to say enable that. The Echo Show will now appear as a camera in your Alexa app. So if I go to devices and camera in the app on my cell phone, then I'll be able to see and try out live view. We'll talk about that later. To customize camera features, go to settings on this device. Again, to customize the camera features of this Echo Show. I'm going to hit done. Stay connected with Amazon Sidewalk. Now that's so that I can connect to neighbors, et cetera, et cetera. I am not gonna do that. I'm gonna turn that off. Make this device kids friendly with Amazon Kids. Well, this device is not for kids, so I don't need to do that. But if you are creating a device to put into a child's room, you may wanna do that. I'm gonna say no. Get the most out of your Echo Show, play any song. It wants me to get Amazon Music. The, you see the default is start your 30-day trial. And it's very small letters, but I'm going to say no thanks. This device is ready. So now I have set up my Amazon Alexa Show. And it's ready to use. Now, there's other things it may want me to do. It'll 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 uh, alert me and bring up options every now and then. Uh, in the spotlight, discover features that take your device to the next level. Captioning available for videos. All of that may be useful. I'm gonna I can hit the X and say no, or remind me later, which it will do. But I'm gonna hit the X. And now it's ready to run, ready for me to start using. By the way, I didn't show you this, but on the top of this device, I have the, the, the do not disturb button, volume up, da excuse me, volume down, volume up, and this is turn the camera on or off. Those are the options on, the only buttons on an Echo Show 5. And it's ready to go. A couple of things to show you again is that if you put your finger up top, you see the little teeny arrow, you drag it down, and it'll take you to the menu where you have access to all of the features from the screen on this device. And when you're done, you can just hit home or, or let it time out. It'll bring you back to the screen. And because it's a new device, newly set up, it will, it'll keep asking me to set up different things. I can set up widgets or say no. And it'll continue to let me add and or or enable other features. But at this point, this Alexa device is set up and ready to run. I can go, hey Alexa, what's the weather in Portland, Oregon? Good morning, Teddy. Currently in Portland, Oregon, it's 56 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 80 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. On and another note, Alexa, I can stop. Help you 
That's just one of the very simple uses of using an Alexa device. This is step one. I have a lot more videos to come where I'll show you more and more of how you can use your Alexa device as your personal assistant.